Hey everybody, the Johnny Cage here, welcoming you to another episode of Friday Night Skype. This time around, our special guest is Pear Strike, as well as our normal group of roundtable contestants that may or may not be adding something useful to the conversation. We have Genray, of course. Useful? Me? <laughs> awesome. Uh, we have Alto Guide. Coming at you live from Scenic Group, my very broken chair. No, oh, that's tough. Uh, Uto Rai, with his many cases of Dr. Pepper that he's recently procured. Oh, yeah, 12 cases of Dr. Pepper, 216 cans. I am good for the week. Delightful. <laughs> uh, Generation 71, or Generation JG, or he's got many names, many <laughs> aliases. Well, it's good, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and our featured guest, Mr. Perestrike. Currently playing uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, what else are you playing? <laughs> Sonic Battle 2, Adventure yeah. Battle 2. I, I and... still let Sonic Adventure 2 because that's what I had, you know, for the Dreamcast. But then they changed it to the GameCube and they changed mm -hmm. the name. They added a battle, and the best one, Mary Kate and Ashley Sweet Sixteen. I was just gonna get there, but oh, you were? No, no, no. The man knows what he's talking about. Please, <laughs> and why not? Why not kick the entire conversation off with talking a little bit about Mary Kate and? Ashley Olsen's Sweet 16 game. How is Sweet that 16. Be? Loads of difficulty. I'm sure you have strategy up the ass. To, to like talk. a really hard Mario Party. No, it's just it's like a really bad Mario Party. <laughs> it's like Sonic Shuffle for the Dreamcast. <laughs> oh no, we don't talk of the dark times, John. It was a pretty good game. It just was, I don't know. Sonic the, the mini games in that game were good, but the game itself was kind of crappy. But anyhow, so I guess uh, aside from Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen games, uh, one one question we always ask is, uh, "What's your favorite game of all time?" Yeah, hey, uh, Wind Waker. Wind Waker, favorite game of all time. Yeah, if you default on that after five seconds, it's automatically ET for the twenty six hundred. <laughs> Mega Man. It's never happened to anyone yet. Have What's you your favorite Mega ask? Man? Hey, we also have a follow up question. What Mega Man you want to play? Oh God, <laughs> Mega Man. Doesn't it's matter what Mega, Mega Man you want to play. play. Oh, uh, well, hey, yeah, he, he just played uh, Mega Man X. That was the, how was that experience for you? Because that was an interesting, uh, you know, blind let's play of that game. It was blind and scary <laughs> and sweaty. But <laughs> you know, no fear. Yeah, it was, I mean, it wasn't that hard, but I, I thought it was hard. I thought it was the most difficult thing ever. It's a tough game, and the X series is ridiculously hard compared to, you know, the classic games. As I've never played any of the classic games, though, but I should. I should get on that. Very you should. Soon. And play, play Mega Man 2. But Mega Man yeah. 1. Mega Man Don't 1 play Mega Man 1. That's Wait, like the hardest what? Mega Man. Don't play <laughs> that's Mega the, Man. It's like the funnest. I beat it back to back. There's like, no way that's the most fun Mega Man, all right? That's just, like, so boring. They changed so much from Mega Man 1 to 2. There's no no way you can back that up. I can back that up by saying I had fun playing. Well, I'm going to trust Johnny here because he's the Mega Man master. Yeah, yeah. Something <laughs> like that. Little point of irony there is my Mega Man X was my first LP because it was extraordinarily easy. <laughs> Go and tell us, no. Oh no! Uh, well, it depends if you get everything or not, and you kind of need everything almost to beat Sigma, unless you use the Hadouken. On yeah, it. Hadouken. <laughs> any plans to play uh, X2 or uh, any of the others in the future? A lot of people want me to blind X2. But I'm saying I'm doing a big no, no, no on that one, like Amy Winehouse. But uh, I do want to play the other ones, like, on my spare time. Yeah, well, the classic series I can't recommend enough. Well, most of them, at least, you know. <laughs> two and two and three, at least play, like, two and three. They're really yeah. enjoyable. Uh, after that, it gets a little yeah, iffy. But... You know what series I can recommend? What's that, Alton? The Pokemon series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know. You love your Can someone hit him, please? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I'll hit him on Tuesday. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, to throw it down a big Smash Brothers tournament. Yeah, I'm having a big Smash Bros. tournament. Generation is one of the lucky contestants. Yeah, let's just say you got nothing on me. Wipe the dirt off my shoulders after I'm me. done. <laughs> I mean, you're going to you're gonna, you're gonna so die so fast that you're not gonna, you're not gonna see... <laughs> Shut up. That was, that you got to be blind. Bravo, You're going to be blind. I'm going to be blind. I will be able to see the screen and be like, oh, God, what am I doing? It's all place bets. I have $10 on <laughs> Generation to win it. $7 well, what's funny? Generation. You guys will probably, I don't know, I'm not going to spoil anything, but when I do a blind LP, which is going to be hopefully soon, you're going to probably a little at it. 
I'm giving also, a new meaning to blind LP. I would never blind LP any game, I don't think. I don't think I have the courage to do that. <laughs> That'd be too hard. Also, what game is it going to be? I'm going to... I don't want to spoil it. I, I know, I was just going to see if I could trick you in spoiling it, though. YouTube? <laughs> live YouTube? Just throwing out your special things you don't want anyone to know? <laughs> so, Bear Strike. Wind yes. Waker. Favorite yes. game of all time. Yes. What do you think makes that a better Zelda game compared to the others, especially Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link? It's a great, that one's great, but uh, it was the first one I've ever played, and I loved it, and I played it, played it down. But, um, yeah, it was the first one I ever played, and I guess I just, it's really nostalgia is really why I like it so much, probably. I I would say the same about Mega Man 2 for me, Mm -hmm. but I don't know, I mean, (laughs) Adventure of Link... Just it is saying. a good one. I mean, no, it's not. It's terrible. I like. I it. actually do like Adventure. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty great. Oh, I sorry. like that too. Never mind. It's a great game. My bad. I want to know. I haven't played a Link game. You know, I just can't get into that whole series. I haven't played much outside of the only Zelda game I've ever completed is the original one. So, I don't know. <laughs> I play a lot of I play a lot of Nintendo games, but when it comes to like the classic franchises, I have not played a lot of those games except for the Mario games. Yeah, obviously Mario, Mario I played most of. Yeah, but you know when it comes to like Metroid or Zelda or uh, I have no idea something else that's really popular, Pokemon. No Pokemon. Pokemon. Anyhow, <laughs> well there is that bootleg crystal on the NES. You can play that. John. <laughs> Yeah, all those. Oh, the music is so horrible. It was Chinese uh, pirated games. Like they've got the, the Chinese pirate of, of uh, Final Fantasy VII, where it's like cloud fighting beedrills and stuff. It's ridiculous. Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> yeah, I saw it on um, this guy Ju Wario. On uh, he's on Retroware TV. He's also on that guy with the glasses, and he does a lot of import games. And uh, they were uh, talking about these bizarre games that came out for systems. You know, like the. The, the 64-bit era like for PlayStation 1 and stuff, but then they translated them to Nintendo, and they're just all sorts of crazy out the ass stuff. Anyhow. Cool story, bro. <laughs> cool story, bro, right? <laughs> very, <laughs> very, very <laughs> Oh, man. Cedral <laughs> Final Fantasy? That's yeah. what I got. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to take from that, all right? Yeah. Now, now you can tell your story to all your friends. <laughs> and they're now he releases like, the Spybees! <laughs> If anybody out there actually gets that, 50 points to you. No one's gonna is there get a story it. behind it? Oh yes. yeah, that's a big one. Oh boy. <laughs> Should we tell hey, it? Yeah, go ahead, because I don't even know about it. So. Looks we... like we're out of time for storytelling. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have anything to talk? Anything else to talk about? Uh... <laughs> tell us the story, then. I one of my friends... Just... Shut up, old man. <laughs> One of my friends used to work at the Skinwalker Ranch out in uh, Las Vegas. Skin wa- basically, the Skinwalker yeah. Ranch. <laughs> yeah, it's, nice. It's, it's a guy who lives out in the middle of the desert, and he's crazy and thinks that UFOs are everywhere. Oh, it's so not like a whole house? No. I have a whole house. <laughs> no. Sounds like it, though. Sounds like a perfect sure, yeah. game. But, uh, so he's got this security team that, you know, runs around his ranch trying to do quote unquote you can't see the finger quotes but I'm doing them security (laughs) but really he's just hoping they're going to run into something and there's people who sit like outside his property but behind the fence just like watching so he (laughs) he's like he's telling me this story he's like we were driving around in the jeep and we pulled up to the the gate because we're supposed to check the gate and the guy next to me says, hey, watch this. And he gets out, and he grabs a handful of dirt from the ground, and he throws it in the air. And nothing <laughs> happened until later when I was on YouTube, and I saw a video posted by one of those guys that was sitting outside the fence. And he, she is, and he's watching the fence, and he's like, oh, this is where he's releasing the spy bees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's crazy, people. That's terrible, man. That's like... Oh, uh, it's like Ghost Adventures, but so much worse. That's what happens when you go somewhere to, that's called the Skinwalker Ranch. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> at the Skinwalker uh, Ranch, their specialty is in Spivey's. They like everything you could ever want and everything you could ever need. <laughs> Speaking of television, I have given the Olympics three chances already. And I swear, every time I turn it on, 
It's oh, first day. Turn it on. Badminton. Mm. I don't know about oh, that. badminton got all gangster. Did you hear about those uh, ten people that actually got kicked out? Oh yeah, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Is there a throwdown in the <laughs> Okay, no, what? No, this is what happened. They all they lost on purpose. They were missing every what? shot, and they were because they wanted to get better odds and first. Yeah, like a better seed opponent. or whatever, so that way they could go oh. up higher and so. So literally, every group they were versing each other too. Shot after shot, just missed. Like they weren't even trying, <laughs> and then they got the green card from the ref. And personally, I'm thinking, can you really tell them they have to play better? <laughs> I mean, That's you're sucking bad. so bad. Either play better or leave. <laughs> We don't want you. It's hilarious, but yeah, go ahead with your story, Johnny. I don't know. That that is a much better story. <laughs> uh, well, the second day I turned it on. It's women's field hockey, and I can't believe that field hockey is in the Olympics. That was startling enough as it was. Is there a men's field can't hockey? believe it's it, no. There is not. I'm sure there isn't. Texas. Just, what? <laughs> well, well no men's field hockey. Well, yeah, I, I'm I pissed I about know. it. I would rather, why can't just regular hockey be an Olympic sport? That would have been so much more entertaining. It is. It's a winter Olympic sport. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I, yeah, because I'm paying attention to the winter Olympics. Is, it Nobody bridge, else is bridge actually a winter Olympic sport? Uh, yes. Wow. See, there you go. Erling is. is oh. Wait, did you say bridge? Like the card game? <laughs> yeah. Bridge is an Olympic sport. Are you sport? fucking kidding me? I'm pretty positive. It's like, how it do is. they work out? How to lay down the cards multiple times, or what? I don't know. I don't know how to play bridge to begin with. So ping pong is an Olympic sport. I'm sure. Yeah, they but ping pong's. Intense. Yeah, that makes Take sense. Like, if you play it right, it could actually be very, very like stamina based because it's just like bam, 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 bam. You don't even know where it's going. Just bam. Okay, guys. Can you imagine though? Like, you have your gold medal. You're out on a date. Woman's like, "What's that gold medal for?" You go, "Oh." I got that for playing bridge. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take it away from me, though. I mean, hey, I, I got an Olympic gold medal, so all the rest of you can it's like, do you have one? No, you don't, so you better back off. Yeah, it's like, shut up. I, I actually watched the women's soccer today just because it was the Japanese for playing. I saw that on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course you, you don't. You know where it's Facebook. at for women, um, women-based sports? Volleyball. Only when it's beach volleyball. No, even some of the Razor indoor ones. Ball. Some of the indoors, they look kind of, you know. I don't know. Some of them look kind of manly, but You got to look too. at the chest. You got to <laughs> look at the chest. Like a family guy where he's like, that's kind of masculine. <laughs> <laughs> some of them might be Bane. <laughs> oh, yes, Batman. Oh, Batman. Okay, I should not have done that. I should have refrained from doing the Bane voice because then things escalate. Mm. <laughs> things are just, wow, that escalated rather quickly. Or a little fanfic for the rest of the time. <laughs> oh, here. Right, man. No, no, I want Pear to say something right now. He's going to say something very yeah. funny. <sighs> <laughs> that was funny. Pear. <laughs> <laughs> Just put the dude on the spot. The best <laughs> advice you could ever hear from a master Let's Play himself. Everyone should take notes. Oh, man, I, this might be a Japanese cartridge of Pokemon Stadium 2 I'm playing as we're doing this, because the Pikachu's name is Pikachan. It's like, it's like they just messed up. Go, Pikachu, I choose you. Pikachu. <laughs> so, so much better than Pikachu. It's uh, but oh. is, is volleyball over at the Olympics, or can I still watch the Japanese women's volleyball actually, team? Those things, like, begin and end so quickly. It's just like, ah, oh, this. Oh, I stop. know volleyball is still going, going on, but I think... I, I don't remember if it was Japan or China that got knocked out, but one of them got knocked out. I don't remember who. Probably well, Japan, because China does great at everything that they do. We they actually got... beat them. Um, the U.S. actually beat China in a preliminary round, so. Well, there yeah. you go. I don't know. They think they still have the lead on the medal count, yeah. though. I wonder how many medals but I have. But hey! Then there's that one girl in the Olympics that's like 17. She has, what, three gold medals? Well, um, guess oh. what? America, new world record in women's uh, swimming. That's no shit, I just said that. <laughs> oh, I, well, you know, you said a 17-year-old girl has, like, three Olympic medals. You didn't Guess say who that. has the record? Alta, I just tried to open up that conversation. You're like, moving <laughs> on, let's talk about this thing. <laughs> just like that time, just like that time I told you, oh, hey, did you know Masing Masingo evolves into Kangaskhan? And you're like, oh, look what I just read. Masingo <laughs> evolves into Kangaskhan. I already knew that. I thought it was, Wasn't it about, um, it was about, like, hey, you know, uh... Barowak was supposed to evolve into Kangaskhan? 
That's what it was. Marowak and King's Gun. <laughs> it's actually a lot more complex than that, because if I remember it, it was supposed to be that, you know, you were supposed to have the baby version, you know, of the baby that's in King Kong's little pouch or whatever. And then if we it know. evolved through finding they were going to have an item was like the mask or whatever, then it was going to evolve into Cubone and then eventually into Marowak. But then if it evolved, like, regularly, it eventually became King as Kong or whatever or something like, along those lines. I forget how it all went down. You should have done that. That would have been, awesome. been cool, but they were jerks. <laughs> no, it's not a sugar chen. <laughs> that just Thank killed you. everything. Good job, Alta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, do you have a lot of experience with uh, Pokemon playing, Fair Strike? Well, yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a Pokemaner, I guess. Manner. All right, here's a here's call. a question yeah, for you. Enjoy oh. the Pokemon. Well, uh, okay. I was just gonna say, here's a question for you. What's your favorite generation? Seventy-one. Uh, the second. The second? <laughs> okay, I can respect that. As long as it's the first two, I can respect that. Oh, you're not yeah. one of those guys that says, oh, everything after this part sucks. No, I'm not you? saying it sucks, but, you know, if you oh, are a certain oh, no. age, you should like a certain generation. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's true, because yeah. the first is always going to exactly. be my favorite, just because that's... I, I was I was there when it was launched. I was there when fucking Pokemon Red was in the store. I was I there was when there. I thought it knew. I was there. I, I, I was new when Squirtle was, like, the biggest name in Pokemon. Oh, Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. Great guy. Squirtle, squirtle. I feel really old when I run into people who say that the first game they ever played was not Super Mario Brothers. Because for years, for decades, it was like, oh, okay, 90% of people that you run into, especially guys, you know, the first game they ever played is Super Mario Brothers. But now it's like meeting so many Let's Players in the, the community on YouTube. It's like, oh, wow, your first game was like something for the, the GameCube? It's like, damn, I'm really old. It's a sad. <laughs> My first game was either Mega Man 6 when it first came out, well, around that time. No, I, I don't think I'm that old. Well, I, was it either Mega Man 6 or Pokemon Yellow? Uh, it was probably Pokemon Yellow. Those okay. are really different times. Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Mega Man 6 came out in 1993, and Pokemon Yellow came out in, like, 1998, 99. Yeah, I there, because I remember that. I was so excited to be like, yeah, Pokemon Yellow. Oh, come on. Anyhow, it's all sorts of bizarre. It is. You know what else is bizarre? The way the Poke Rap just down escalated. Oh, don't bring that up. Don't bring that up. <laughs> oh, oh, there's too, too much Pokemon. You know, we should do our own Olympic event. We should be playing, like, track and field. That would be great if you could do that in that play somehow with the old school power pad. Just sort of run in it on place. Be awesome. Either that or we, do either that or we could do bridge. You know, I, I'd probably be badass Could do bridge. That. Could do bridge. Do stadium events. <laughs> well, stadium events is track and field. It's just slightly you know. different. We'll play stadium events just because it's stadium events. I think someone should LP all of the uh, games that come on a basic PC. Like That'd Minesweeper. Be a great idea. <laughs> all of the games. Solitaire, Minesweeper. Yeah. Free cell, free cell. So, yeah, let's have our basic PC Olympics. Basic. How great can you do it? Pinball. How oh, great. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that. We should totally do something like that. That'd be pretty funny. Yeah, oh. let's do it. A basic PC <laughs> Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> and we play all the games. Okay, we have the teams. Team America and Team Canada. Uto, your partner is beauty. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> it's like, oh, I, like, I already lost. I'm gonna, I'm, it's <laughs> like, I forfeit. Bye, see you oh. later. Oh, come on. If I'm partnered with this dude, I'd rather fall back on my German heritage and be Team Germany. <laughs> oh, come on. Beauty He's probably got some skills with the old games. He did so. <laughs> oh, God, it's so mean. You're just going to be watching this. Me, dude, game. we love you. This is making me taste blood <laughs> don't, in the don't listen to us. We love you. Okay? It's okay. <laughs> uh, we're, just, we're just kidding, me, dude. So what do you got uh, planned in the future, uh, Pair Strike? I guess this uh, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen game is going to take a lot of time out of your uh, busy schedule, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm actually planning on doing all the sequels to that game. To like all twelve of them. Are you There's serious? Twelve of Mary Kate and <laughs> <No>. Ashley. <laughs> what if there were twelve Mary Kate and Ashley games? How good would that be? It would be fun if you could like condense all of them into like one video or do like a short video on it. And each one, it's like God. I don't oh. think it's worse as I go. Oh, might as well play with a Tamagotchi. That there you go. That would be a great let's play. Just have a Tamagotchi and have a camera pointed at Tamagotchi. it. Tamagotchi. And just 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 push the button. Yeah. So stuff happens. It's like, in this episode, we'll see if anything <laughs> happens. Oh, it took a crap. Yay, <laughs> something happened. It's like the Pokey Walker from, um, from Soul Silver and Hard Gold, that little, like, speedometer thing that you walked around with. 
Oh, I don't even know. I haven't oh, played either of those. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I have one of those, actually. I remember they actually did have a Pikachu Tamagotchi, and the only difference between that and a regular one was... Tamagotchi? Shut up, Alt. <laughs> whatever the fuck they're called. But the Pikachu one, like, couldn't die. Just because he's Pikachu. Uh, you know what made me mad? Did he faint? I have no idea. <laughs> that would make sense if he fainted. I had a Pterodactyl one. It wouldn't shut up. No matter what I did, I'd do everything. It just wouldn't shut up. Well, yeah, oh, they never showed up. Ever. Then t- my hammer attack was super effective. <laughs> 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 took the hammer down on it. <laughs> the band hammer the came band. down so hard. Oh man! So what are uh, what's your favorite? Is your favorite system of all time then? Uh, GameCube. Yeah, probably. Or N sixty four. Even though I, I didn't like grow up. Well, I kind of grew up with N64, but I play it more now. Yeah. Really? You know, the N64 is such an enigma to me, because it's not a terrible system, but there are only so many games on it that I think are really good. And I'm going to make this statement right here on YouTube for everyone, because I'm not a huge, huge fan of the N64. But there's also, for some reason, look at the library of it. There are tons of driving games, and there are tons of wrestling games for it. I don't know why, really. But that there are so. But uh, I mean, you know, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Woo! That's oh, awesome. so good. Space Station Silicon Valley. Oh man, oh, Conquer's yeah. Bad Fur Day. I actually just found that at the flea market for ten dollars. Such a good game. And all the banjo games. You know, I never played any of the banjo games at all. <gasps> what? <laughs> Dun, They're dun, great. Dun. I can understand Generation maybe not playing a Zelda game, but you don't play <laughs> Banjo, Johnny? I, oh, yeah. Well, Come well, on! Here's also my history with N64. N64 is technically my brother's, and we didn't get one until, like, I don't know, GoldenEye came out, I think. So, uh, actually, that wasn't that you know, long after the release, relatively speaking. But he has that at his apartment, so I, and I, I, I don't play the I mean, I got an emulator of it, of course, but I just don't play it much. I don't know. I don't know. My time with N64 was short-lived. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of. Well, I shouldn't say it was so short-lived, but, like, I remember we played a shit ton of Gauntlet Legends. That game was oh, wow. awesome. I love that one. And, uh, I think other stuff. Mario Parties. Definitely Mario Parties. Oh, yeah. Mario Party 2 is, like, the best one. Yeah. That one was really solid. I mean, all those games, like, those are some of the few games on the N64 that still go for, like, a good amount of money, because... I don't know, it's like there's just, like, so many games for the system that you can get really cheap, and then there's just, like, this upper echelon of games that are really expensive, including the Mario Parties and uh, Conqueror's Bad for a Day. Enigma Hmm. and Ephelon? What are we, having a dictionary? Johnny, you're the only one keeping this educational. (laughs) Trying to. Because I'm not drinking tonight. That's the thing. (laughs) But really? I know, right? I, I was the inner machinations of his mind are an enigma. Well, okay. Sorry to surprise you guys. I'll go get a beer now. <laughs> no, Johnny, no. <laughs> Don't ruin the Skype just yet. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> yeah. Don't wait. There's more. It's Dilly that does that. <laughs> oh. Uh, so, that's my story of the N64. Then I got the GameCube, but I only got the GameCube because Fantasy Star Online had come out, and I loved that game for the Dreamcast. And then it came over to the GameCube, and... Is it good? It's a very awesome game, if you've never played it before. I, I, whenever I run into someone, they either don't, and they bring it up, they either don't know what it is, never heard of it, or they played it and they love it. It's one of their favorite games of all time. Whoa. So, I don't know. That's just it. But It's a really awesome, like, four-player, multiplayer game. For the, what are you doing it? Uh, it's just, it's like a live-action... RPG, where oh. you, you know, go around just killing stuff, and, uh, you know, you don't go into a battle system, actually. You just kill it, and then you, the experience pops up, and you just move on to the next thing, and you just upgrade your equipment. It's just, it's more or less just an RPG. That's cool. It's like Secret of Mana style. Yeah. I love games like that. Those are my favorite games mm-hmm. of, like, any genre, or games where it just, like, doesn't have to, don't have to go into a battle scenario. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Kill stuff. I remember, I remember the year the GameCube came out. I got one for Christmas that year, except my brother ruined Christmas. In quotation, <laughs> ruined Christmas. Back then, because I was a young kid, I was like, oh, you ruined Christmas on purpose. But what happened was, um, Christmas Eve, my brother had a seizure, had to go to the emergency room. 
So our Christmas got delayed for three days. We got out of the hospital. I was all mad at him. I was all, you ruined Christmas. Apologize. <laughs> and he, he, he did apologize. And then my mom my mom yelled at me and then told him he didn't have to apologize for anything. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's like, I didn't beat it. I yeah. swear. <laughs> That, that's what it was. He was he was just like, I'm sorry I had a seizure and ruined Christmas. And then my mom's just like, you don't have to apologize. And you shut up. You know how bad he must have felt? Yeah, I know. Alta, I was like 10 when this happened. I kind of have a story like that where it's just kind of like depressing in a sense, so don't judge me for this. But I remember... Um, the year the GameCube came out, I didn't get it at an exact release, but I was waiting until Christmas, right? So I kept begging my parents to be like, oh, will you please buy me this, please, please, please? And then, you know, usually parents will be like, oh, yeah, we'll think about it, but probably not. That's exactly what they said. So I remember one day, you know, I was just like, oh, you know, maybe I'll just go check the closet. You know, maybe there's something in there. And so I went in there, and then up on the top, right next to the clothes, was the GameCube, and I was so excited. But then after, my dad saw me looking, and then he got, like, really, really mad. And so, like, he had left, I'm assuming to get drunk and he came back, grabbed the GameCube, <laughs> and threw it at my face and be like, yeah, you ruined Christmas, good job. And then I just felt really bad. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> did, did you I did, play the GameCube, and that would have made it everything better, but I still felt really bad. I, I, he was heartbroken. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, Dad must go out and drink now because you've discovered your Christmas services. <laughs> uh, seems, seems a little Well, overboard. I mean, he did it on a daily <laughs> basis, but you know, he's judging, so. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Who's judging? Not us. Where's my beer? Oh. <laughs> uh, there, there was that one kind Christmas. of thing. Uh, Wait, you could go. You go. There was one Christmas my parents got drunk and forgot to put the stuff out, so we didn't think. <laughs> Ken Ray has led nothing short of an incredible life. You should probably write a book. <laughs> <laughs> one Christmas. I like this how kind of funny. Stories. Uh, my my stepdad at the time. He had spent all the money on a gambling horse instead of a, you know maybe getting us Christmas presents. So. um we went on the Christmas tree, um, expecting to at least get something, and me being like five and everything, we got nothing. There was nothing under the tree, and my mom was very mad. It was a very awkward Christmas morning. I actually wow. literally got an umbrella. I think my brother got an umbrella that we already had. Like, they literally <laughs> just repackaged <laughs> was so bad of us. They, just, they had to repackage an umbrella and give it to him. Here you go. Here's your Batman umbrella you already had. Oh, Batman! Batman! Oh, no. I see you found your umbrella, Batman. Anyhow, this is terrible. Please, Pear Strike, have a good story about Christmas. Oh, I have any good Christmas. <laughs> well, uh, not a depressing one with gambling debts and drinking. You know what? Uh, step I'll tell you, honestly, if I was you, I'd go find this ex-stepdad, assuming he's not around anymore, and I'd just kick the shit out of him now that you're like... <laughs> Superhero or whatever you do. Dude, this is a true American <laughs> no, <yeah>. Christmas. <laughs> My therapist says I should. <laughs> it My therapist says I should. Uh... You know, go back and write all the wrongs in my life. So for that, you must take a beating. No, certainly. <laughs> you know what's the worst part about Christmas morning? What? Waking up, getting really excited, running down, and then realizing you're Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst part of Christmas. Oh. oh. Third. <laughs> I'm not Jewish, so it's not. Okay, you? well, we we should let Parastrike tell a story. We're all being yeah, we're very rude right now. Juan, and I don't have it. Uh, okay, well, once I found my presence when I was like six, and I got really upset about it and just cried for two <laughs> days. <laughs> I don't even know why. <laughs> I just feel like I ruined it. So I just, yeah, I'm I, ruined Christmas. I remember it. one time when my parents were wrapping presents for my brother... And I was just kind of there, and they were writing to whoever from Santa on the tag. And then my mom realized I was reading them. And then she thought she thought this was the first time I realized that there was no Santa, even though I was, like, 15 at the time. <laughs> and, and she started crying and hugging me and, like, apologizing. And I'm just like, Mom, Mom, I'm, I'm 15. I, I've known there's uh, – I'm, I'm 15. That's just, why is this even happening right now? <laughs> okay. I'm okay with the fact you've been lying to me. <laughs> Meanwhile, my dad's sitting at the table laughing. He's, like, joking with me, like, writing things. He's like, to whoever from dad. Oh, whoops, I mean Santa. And then he put that on tag. <laughs> you got to pick and choose the presents, though. It's like you don't want your, your parents to look cheap and just write all the good stuff came from Santa. Yeah. See, if I was going to have kids, what I'd do is I'd ha I'd have a gift from me. It would be, like... An Xbox 450, whatever the fuck would be out by then. 
And then from Santa, it would be like, I'd just go find some dog shit outside, put it in the box. <laughs> no, it's funny. My parents actually did something like that one year. Like, no, not like with dog shit or something like that. But like, I came down. I, yeah. No, I came down, right? And then I was like, oh yeah, open the presents that Santa got me first. And I opened it up and he, they actually put coal in there. I was like, oh, I feel horrible now. But then after I went to go open the ones that my parents gave me, I was like, oh, I love my parents more than I do Santa now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's yeah. how they won you over. And then they gave me <laughs> cookies, and then I fell asleep. Oh, I was really hoping you would, you were gonna say, and then they oh, gave God. me tacos because then I, could I feel have so a taco. <laughs> there was one time my parents actually put like uh, from Mark to Santa. <laughs> <laughs> how did I do this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what wait, happened? Not- no, it'll be <laughs> like, wait, did I forget to give this to Santa? Wait, what happened here? <laughs> I believe Santa just comes out of a room and is like, oh, my gift. <laughs> you know what's the funniest part about putting out milk and cookies? When your mom's allergic to milk and she's also a diabetic. So you have to eat all the cookies and milk You're yourself. just bringing down the whole group all the <laughs> Man, you are really, you have a terrible life all over. You'd be surprised. Or a basket or something. Okay, so move uh, to video no. games. Okay, no. Well, one year, I, one year I, was, I got to be homeless for Christmas. Nice. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Tell us this story, Alta. Well, the step, well, uh, I'm not going to get a lot of sp- <laughs> Well, no, but I was just homeless, and I was like seven for Christmas. I was, I was homeless. This was after the stepdad, <laughs> but I got, I was basically, I'm not going to want to get a lot of details because it'd be a little too personal for, uh, you know, Friday night Skype, but I was uh, homeless and that was interesting Christmas. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as the umbrella Christmas, um, strangely enough, but, um, I think we need a moment of silence uh, for all time. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Alta, I'm going to grab my tricycle and go and see you, and you're going to show me where this prick lives, and we're just going to beat him senseless with the tricycle. So, somebody, somebody get beat dude in here so you can have a Christmas story. <laughs> I, I can try to find a good Christmas story. It just might take a little bit. One year, I had, like, I got, like, five pounds of Reese's. That was oh, okay, wait, I, I have a good Christmas story. So, I, I, it's actually good, I swear, I swear. <laughs> so, um, we actually went up to the mountains, and in the mountains there's actually a city, and then we stayed at a hotel for the weekend for the Christmas. I'm not sure why, I think it was because um, our house had burned down, but you know, that's besides the point. But anyways, yeah, we went up there, we were at a holiday, and it was a good time. And then I fell asleep, and then Christmas morning I wake up, and then there was this huge stocking. It was, like, gigantic, like... Almost as big as my dad. That's how big the stocking was, and it was full of presents. That's probably the best Christmas ever. Because then I actually got a new Game Boy. I got a new um, couple games or whatever. Got candy, got clothes, all that stuff in that one stocking. So that was actually kind of a good Christmas. I mean, besides my house burning down. But other than that, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> all the bad things happen at Christmas, I swear. <laughs> It's like freaking uh, everybody. Everybody's like in the cast of Gremlins. The cast of Gremlins. Oh, you remember when, like freaking every every Gremlins movie? She had some horrible story about what happened at Christmas. Yeah, really? that was no, like I the don't main part. That, really. of it, wasn't it? Went... <laughs> My dad came down the chimney and like he fell and broke his neck, and we didn't find oh, out. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Okay, yeah, it was like it was a love interest girl though. Yeah, okay. That's why I'm the old lady on the chair who gets shot through the window. Of course you can. Yeah. <laughs> that movie is, is strange. It's like a movie that's like on the like thin line of whether it should be for kids or not. Because it's <laughs> kind of terrifying and kind of yeah. violent, but at the same time, there's Gizmo, and he's adorable. Cute little guy. <laughs> Adorableness counteracts everything else. <laughs> like that and Beetlejuice. My favorite oh, Gremlins. Is awesome, though. I don't know if it's either the second or third one. Maybe one after that. I don't. I don't know. I just know there's more than one. And then there's one where they're in a movie theater and the gremlins start doing chaos in there, and Hulk Hogan just gets up and yells at them, and they just kind of stop. Yeah. Hulk Hogan's. <laughs> oh, that was like they were in the movie theater watching Gremlins. <laughs> well, of course they'd be in the movie theater watching their own movie. That's like a staple. Yeah, that's just like straight up gangster. Like yeah. You have to be a true movie star to watch your own watching movie. Watching the Time. Oh man! Hulk I Hogan? watched my own Let's Plays for editing purpose. 
Well, uh, you're supposed to. Right? I watch my own Let's Play. It's just to increase the view count. <laughs> what are your favorite episodes of your own LP? Oh, um, well, episode one of Mary Kate and Ashley. That was fun. And ooh, I don't know. What's your favorite LP? Do you think that you, you've done so far? I like Super Mario Galaxy. And I like Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, They're my Diddy two Kong favorites Racing. right now. I love that Diddy game. Diddy Kong Racing. Oh. I love how we both said "Aw, Diddy Kong Racing" with the complete uh, opposite like tone of voice. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, "Ah, oh, Diddy Kong Racing." I was just like, "Oh, Diddy Kong Racing." I really played. Oh, oh, actually, going back to the N64, I played a lot of Star Wars Pod so Racer. Did I. That was epic. Oh yeah. Is that game worth a bit of Not money? Enough. No. Good. <laughs> but it's it's a, I love no. just like. It really makes you feel like you're going like a bajillion miles an hour in that game, and I love the fact that like if your engines got like damaged, you could repair them if you wanted to, and that was that was pretty cool. I mean, everything about that game was pretty awesome. Yeah, it, it was. But, it was pretty I cool. Know. I guess Maybe it was just me. the the game I played most for the N64. I think I said multiple times was like Pokemon Puzzle League. It was just so epic. Like just doing those chain reactions, it just made you feel like a, you know straight up pimp, straight up you know. I've never actually played that game. I've heard of it. Is it it's, Tetris with Pokemon? It's no, a it's version of Tetris. Tetris. It's not that the blocks actually fall down, and then you have to get three in a row, and then, you know, they're all scattered. You know, you have random blocks already scattered on there. They actually start from the bottom and go um, up, and then you have to make three in a row, and you can make change, because um, once you make a chain, and then the blocks on top will fall down. So. Do you know Yoshi's, like, the Yoshi Tetris, or whatever the game with Yoshi is in the yeah, blocks? It's that. literally... That's exactly what it is with Pokemon. You're talking about literally the game Yoshi. I think that's what it might have... <laughs> but it's like, it has those weird, like, funky blocks. Literally, that's exactly what it is. Like, 100%. Oh. I like Dr. Mario. It's kind of like Tetris. I, I cannot stand Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario is way too difficult for my taste. Really? I, I think it's good. Like, I have it. I, I found it really cheap, so I bought it because it's a classic game to have for the NES, but it's, I don't know. Like, the difficulty in that game, for me at least, seems like it ramps up really fast, but then again, the only puzzle games I play are Tetris and Rampart. No one knows what Rampart is, so. I hate that song. I would worry that song if I could. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was wondering about the game Puzzle Fighter, where it was like, Street Fighter. I tried to get into that because I'm like a huge fan of uh, Street Fighter, but I could never figure out what the hell to do. And, uh, <laughs> Nobody knows what to do. It's like, okay, I put this block here. Oh, now I've got a massive gem. What do I do with that? It's still taking up space. I'm confused. Uh, any any uh, fighting game playing at all, Strike? Fighting game playing? Yeah. Like, ooh. I do like the brawl. I was actually... Playing in uh, <laughs> Smash Brothers 64 the other day. That was fun. Dude, that, that's the Holy only brawl. brawl, or not brawl, but that's the only Smash Brothers that I'm any good at. I can't. It's the glitchiest one, too. And technically, that. isn't Melee some lower than the <laughs> original Bros? I swear. Like, is the, it what just lower? general gameplay, isn't Melee actually slower than it was in the original? I swear it was slower. slower. Really? Uh, Melee seems like it. Melee seems super chaotic to me. I don't know. For yeah, me, like for some bad. reason, every time yeah. I play the original Super Smash Brothers, I feel like it's a lot faster than Melee. Maybe it's because I'm not used to like the combos in uh, Bros as well as I am in Melee. But it's still, it, I don't know, it just seems like the tempo. Combros? Combros. Ha, 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 taco. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> well, then just stop talking. <laughs> okay. You should follow. Um, so, Pear Strike, uh, um, so you, you said you like uh, your yeah. Super Mario Galaxy. What do you think of Super Mario Galaxy 2? I haven't asked a lot of people this question because usually I get a lot of hate when I give my opinion, but what did you think about Super Mario Galaxy 2? Well, I don't have it. Um, I liked it. Like, I guess it's a cool game. I just, I don't know. I don't really like it enough to buy yeah, it. Yeah, see, I, I would probably second that motion because, like, I bought it probably the worst decision I ever made because I, it, it might have been just because the gimmick was over with. Like, you had Super Mario Galaxy be like, oh, you know, brand new world, you're in space, you know, you could be upside down or whatever. But then once you got to, like, Super Mario Galaxy 2, yeah. it was kind of like, well, what's different here? You get a Yoshi, big deal, you know? So I, I didn't find it that great of a game, to be completely honest, so. 
Yeah, that's what I thought it was just like I don't know too much galaxy like it already happened. It's like the story isn't yeah, anything exactly. different. I think the next one we need to do is we need to go underwater. That's yet to be explored yet. Yeah, sure we have underwater levels, but we don't have underwater worlds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll just stop blowing into your microphone. I'm not, I'm, not blo- I'm blowing into my Nintendo 64 since I was so stepped up. <laughs> I know, we can hear you doing everything. <laughs> Here, I'll mute my mic. <laughs> Play, yeah. Playing with the switches, blowing into the cartridge. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Super so Mario. Atlantis. That's what it should be called. Atlantis. Oh, man. I, I really I really hated doing the water world in uh, in, in Mario 64. Like the, like, the first one with just oh. the, the ship and the big With eel. the eel? Yeah, that guy used to scare the shit out of me. Yeah, like, big know. ass eel. Just, the like, background it, music is uh, pretty it's sweet, so though. Like, you have I would to admit that. that music. That's how bad it is. But, yeah, it's very ambient. Yeah. I I don't know. I just I hate doing like deep underwater stuff. I hate swimming in general, as you know, even in real life. But uh, oh, I'll agree. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> okay, but uh, I don't know. Probably what really set me off was playing Final Fantasy VII and just like being in the submarine and it's just like dark and and eerie and somewhere down there is Emerald Weapon and he's gonna kill you if you touch him. Ooh, or even in like the beginning of Final Fantasy X, very watery. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I did like Blitzball though. Oh yeah, hey, Johnny, uh-huh. Johnny, you mm-hmm. should let's play Aquaman. Play oh yeah, for the GameCube. Oh, the one that John Tron did. <laughs> oh, Isn't God. there one for the Nintendo 64 that's pretty much uh, Super uh, Superman 64 reskin? I don't, unless it's like I don't know, could be some sort of like a ROM hack. <laughs> you have to swim through rings. Oh. No, I I know there is an like official licensed Aquaman game. I just don't remember what platform it's for. Oh, there's definitely the one for the GameCube. I don't yeah. think there's. I I yeah. never heard of one for the N64. Yeah, but, I don't think there's a Wonder Woman or a Flash game, but Aquaman hey. is a freaking game. Come on. <laughs> there's that there's that entire Justice League game for the Super Nintendo though. Yeah, like, Aquaman is part of the Justice League, so like it doesn't count. Yeah, but it's like Ant Man being part of the Avengers, and now he's got his own Wait, movie. Wait, Ant Man has Ant-Man. oh yeah, yeah, wasn't that the animated one? He's going to yeah. No, he's gonna. They're making really? a real live action Ant Man movie. <laughs> Why? Who was yeah, watching they announced that? it at Comic Con. Same with the sequel. Same with the sequel to Thor and uh, Captain America. Like, but we're going to do Ant-Man. Hank Pym is awesome, and everybody should bow down to Ant-Man. Well, I mean, they obviously want more characters. But Spider-Man! Sequel, He's available! So He's Spider-Man! Avengers. Spider-Man is owned by, like, you know, I, Okay, I have to go kill Fox, then. <laughs> Just screw it. Well, isn't that, like, the same reason that, like, a, a Justice League movie would never work? Because so many people own the rights to all those characters that it would just be next to impossible to bring them all together. That is what happens when companies For have one movie. power. They just fuck everything Don't up. know. I don't know, because, I mean, at least, you know, Stan Lee owns, like, everything and holds it, like, in his Bad iron man. fist and never lets go of it and has to make cameo in every damn movie. <laughs> yet, yet he let go of Spider-Man and the Fantastic Four. Well. <laughs> and uh, Ghost Rider. And Blade. <laughs> Blade, I don't know what to say about Blade. Isn't Wesley Snipes still in prison for tax evasion? I think, I think so. He, yeah. That's why you haven't seen him in so long, for those of people that just completely forgot about him. Though, though they did ask him if they made a Blade 4, he would totally um, do it. Well, of course he would do Blade it. 4. I mean, already been <laughs> <laughs> he, he's going to pay off his taxes. He does it with a vengeance. But yeah, go ahead, sorry, man. What were you saying, Fair? Yeah. To me? Yeah. What was I saying? I don't know. We just started just saying stuff, and we're like, we need the guests to say more things. So oh. We <laughs> I didn't know that they already made three Blades. Yeah. I, I didn't mean, even know that was a thing. I only like Blade Trinity. Trinity, so Trinity was good it. only because of Trinity. Oh, there <laughs> and there's a, um, it, there's a new Superman movie coming out. Yeah, that's... I don't know. The, tra- <laughs> the teaser trailer doesn't really show anything, and yeah. I guess the guy playing Superman hasn't really done anything notable either, so... Yeah, I guess another, it's, another uh, reboot, just to... It's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough to make uh, Superman a very likable character, because he's just so damn near indestructible. Yeah. Wait, who's going to be playing Superman? Some guy's been in, like, nothing. Nothing notable, at least. And what's his name, though? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, but that's <laughs> how IMDb, kind of check it out. Thor. I, I mean, he had been in a couple of movies, but nobody really gave him that much attention, and be like, hey... Yeah, but that guy, like, really... 
looked like Thor too. It's like this guy is Thor, right here. Got to have. That was a good movie too. I didn't see that one at all, even going into the Avengers. I, I didn't see that or Captain America, and I I, I meant to, but luckily, you know, yeah. you really didn't need to see yeah, it. Yeah, on my part, I only think it was a good movie because of whoever played Loki. I forget what his name was, but because I I feel that. Thor, I mean, uh, he acted, but I don't think they give him enough dialogue to know who he was, and I believe that Loki kind of helped, you know, cover that, so that's why I like Loki the best. What's your favorite movie of all time, Bear Strike? Oh, I don't know. Such a loaded I, question, without thinking about it too hard. For a while, it was Beetlejuice, actually. I really <laughs> like that movie. That's a great movie. That, I don't know why, but that was Well, great. there's a really sort of awesomeness of movies that you can like watch as a kid and you perceive it one way and then you go back and you watch it again grown up and you can see all like the adult humor in it like same with same with ghostbusters and same same with beetlejuice it's like you you go back at different ages and you watch it and you see two completely different movies Mm but you know very rare and hard to do but a lot of fun all right i have the i have the information uh superman is henry cavall and the only notable thing he was he was in that movie immortals and nobody what that is. Tom uh, Loki's yeah, name I, is I definitely Tom Hiddleston. Honestly, made that movie. My opinion, though, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah he was pretty good. I mean, yeah, he did a pretty solid job. What's your guys' favorite movies? <laughs> Training Element. Day. Training Day. Fifth Element. Hook, hook, and Fifth Element. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Training Day is a very good movie. Air Bud. <laughs> Air Bud. <laughs> May seem like a weird all of, one. All ten Air Bud movies. <laughs> Mine's kind of a weird one, but it was just that I was so darn impressed by it actually in theaters. It was The Hunger Games. Oh, yeah. <clears> like, before total. then, it was Mel Gibson's Signs, and it's still, like, I still go back and forth, which is my favorite. Seriously? It's a good say, what you, say what you want. That game, that movie has a lot of memories <laughs> for me. I don't know why I said game. It has a lot of memories for me, and it's it's a really good movie. I kind of like it. I'm into that kind of thing. Oh. Uh, just because of... Mel Gibson. What, what, okay, sport. <laughs> no, he doesn't call the aliens <laughs> juice. <laughs> That's my favorite part where he doesn't do that. Well, I still think, speaking of, of Hunger Games, that I haven't seen Hunger Games, and I know if I saw it, I would compare it to Battle Royale, which for a while was probably my favorite movie of all time. Um, but not a lot of people know about it. But then a lot of people were saying, oh, do you know that this movie called Battle Royale exists? That it's pretty much the same damn movie? Only it's a Japanese movie. That's why no yes. one knows about it. So, <laughs> but the <reality. laughs> but the my favorite movie, movie is the second Jurassic Park. Just because when it first came out, me and my mom and my brother went there. My brother being four at the time, didn't really understand what a movie theater was. And he just saw like a big T Rex on screen roaring, and he was crying the whole time. And he actually <laughs> shit his pants so much that it started oh overflowing. <laughs> and oh it, was just, it was just the most. It was just the most hilarious thing to me. That's why. Uh, I, I... Friday Night Skype, everyone. All the <laughs> shitting pants and terrible Christmas mornings. That's all we do now on this show. <laughs> you really all we this. do is shit our pants. <laughs> all we do is shit our pants here. You're in for a gotta, sh- you, gotta, you gotta change the category of and gaming. Good it's just comedy. <laughs> yeah, right. It, yeah. Gaming <laughs> it went out to the do window that. a long time ago. <laughs> we still bring in games. Pokemon. We talked about Pokemon for a good while. Uh, yeah, well, we still yeah. talk about games. It's just uh, we throw in other stuff. That's kind of game Christmases. related. We're talking about movies. <laughs> well, I was wa- I was watching The Big Lebowski today. That's a really good movie. Freaking Jeff Bridges is the dude. Yeah. Guy, that role was meant for him. You mean, you mean the guy he plays in every movie? That is exactly <laughs> who he is in real life, judging by the looks of everything. Guys, I have a serious movie question. It's been irritating me for a while. I need to get off my chest. Why does Denzel Washington always play the black guy? Because he is a black guy. No, he yeah. is like ridiculous. No, no. Ass, though, in his no, no, I'm just saying. Yeah, I could. No, oh, darn it, the joke came in. That's Sam Jackson. Sam Jackson is far more typecast as the black guy. No, no, no. I'm just. Denzel no, it's a joke. Washington. It's like, well, why does this person always play the bad guy or the good guy or the Did love you, interest? Wait, why do is... you proceed a joke with this is a real serious <laughs> question? That was the joke. It was supposed to be like, oh, we're waiting to see. That, you don't get comedy. I'm, I'm gonna hit you with something. You don't get comedy. You don't understand you don't get comedy. Hey. Hey, you know, now that we're on the topic of Denzel Washington, <laughs> it was weird. I used to be a really big fan of Denzel Washington, and I still am. I love most of the movies that he's in. But then the more I watch his movies, the more I start to see 
that he's literally the same character in almost every single movie. Like, all, like, his mannerisms, every, like, <laughs> little saying that he adds in, it's almost the same thing. Have you guys ever noticed that? Yeah, and it's like, I still yeah, like him as an actor. I really think he's a really good actor. But I think he definitely needs to, like, change it up a little bit. Just, you know, add something new and be like, you know. Yeah, it's like, even, like, yeah, seriously, he, he plays really close to the same character in, like, Remember the Titans versus, like, Training Day. There's two completely opposite people, exactly, yet yeah. the performance still feels the same. Johnny, Just like Johnny that kid Drew? that played Scott Pilgrim in the uh, Scott Pilgrim movie. Oh, yeah, that guy. I hate those uh, movies He plays the so same much. character so in every movie he does. That Michael <laughs> Sarah. My, Michael Sarah, who <laughs> plays Michael Sarah, Sarah and everything. Well, we're, I what? hated the Scott Pilgrim movie really? so much. Really? I was going to ask everyone, because there you go. That's a good, like, movie uh, video Pilgrim? game adaptation. You, do you want to know my reason for hating it, though? Like, it, it just did not make sense to me. Why? Why would he... Exactly, it's a retarded concept. Why would he... No, why would he ditch the oh, Asian God. chick to go after the nasty white chick? <laughs> that that does not make sense I in know, my head. I, a lot of people told me I should have watched that, like, right after it came out, and then I went back and I finally saw it, like, a year ago, and I'm like, this is a movie that would have appealed to me, like, when I was much nerdier and, like, maybe a little bit younger and I would have probably appreciated it a lot more. But now it's just, eh, eh, eh. I don't you guys like... ever see the movie Kick-Ass? Yeah. Was that good? Um, it's, it's a <laughs> decent movie. Like, oh, yeah, I, I'd say it's worth at least one watch. I like it. Yeah, it's, worth, it's probably worth a watch. Nicolas Cage is a really ridiculously Yeah, it's like, you know, he, he comes off as, movie. you know, the well, good fatherly type, but he's a little sadistic in the process, too. He's Batman, yep. Yeah, he's That's like, all he's Batman. <laughs> Batman. I see you have a little girl. Oh, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty good movie, though. I I think they're going to... The way that it ends, they make it seem like they're going to set up for a sequel. And they, yeah, they, very they well are. It's, it's in pre-production. Oh, wow. That's taking a while. It's only in pre-production. The movie came out like three well, years ago. Well, um, Anchorman, enough said. Anything. Yeah, but Anchorman we, was trying to get off the ground forever, and then it finally just, like, gave in, I think, because people wanted to see it, and I'm pretty sure everyone that's in that has have taken major pay cuts to do it just because they wanted to do it so badly, even though, you know, now, now like, you know, Paul Rudd and even Steve Carell, to a certain extent, weren't really well-known when that movie came out, and now they're, like, you know, A-list movie stars. Mm-hmm. So. Why don't they all just, like, use their money to Be- make the movie? Because yeah, they really point. don't have any money. Like, uh, I know they look like they live a ritzy life, but as soon as they get their paycheck, you know, they buy, like, ten different houses in ten different countries or whatever, and they got to buy private jets to ride every single one. You're, so they really... <laughs> you're thinking of, like, Tom Cruise. No, but it was it's exactly like um, <laughs> Nicolas Cage. Around the time where he was coming out with the movie every single month, um, like, a couple months after that, he filed for bankruptcy. And it's just like, dude, you made all these movies, you have all this money, yet you're filing for bankruptcy because you have ten different houses, which you don't even live in. I mean, come on now. Some what people are addicted to house. Money into four and banks. that's why I don't throw money around like crazy, because that's what makes you bankrupt. Except for <laughs> 12 cases of Dr. Pepper. That's a staple, yeah. though, that's, right? that's, a, that's an investment. Is what that is. <laughs> so, were you the one saying, I have... Thousands of dollars, I could totally get this game. Yeah, what did I just say? I don't throw it around like fucking everywhere so I don't go bankrupt. <laughs> you have been talking about buying Earthbound for like $150. I did buy Earthbound. You heard it here first. You did buy Earthbound for $150. There you go. Doesn't throw money around, though. Just want good you game, that. though. Good that, game. That's, yeah, that's, that's a good investment. Yeah. What's your favorite uh, RPG of all time, Fair Strike? Oh, wow. Um, Final Fantasy IV. Damn. Or so hoping you'd say. If you Final say the Fantasy. DS, you can get out right now. <laughs> or for what? <laughs> if you say the DS, you can get out right now. No, I say the DS. The one for the Super yeah, Nintendo. Apparently, everybody yeah. loves these Final Fantasy games. Sorry, go ahead. Or I don't know. I guess that. Yeah. That. It's My assault. favorite it's assault. RPG is Earthbound. No oh, or Mother you, 3. Mother 3, yeah. Mother 3. You know, I, Mother 3 is a really great game. It seems like so many people jumped on, like, a bandwagon and playing that game, though. And I'm not sure if it was after, like, Nintendo Capri Sun did it or not, but mm-hmm. it's, like, 
it almost seems like it diluted the experience of it because it's a really like intense game, even yeah. compared even compared to Earthbound. And I love Earthbound because they they do an amazing job of actually making you feel like you're a twelve year old, where you know you, <laughs> if you call up your parents, you get homesick occasionally. Yeah. You know, basically making you care what happens. Yeah, you really get invested in the character. And... Oh, my favorite part about the like Mother series is just how ridiculously dark the games are. You wouldn't expect it. I mean, the final boss of Earthbound is pretty much an abortion. And then yeah. people, ju- people just die left and right in Mother 3. Yeah. Yeah, I know, seriously. And I think in the uh, original uh, NES version of uh, Mother... One of your party members actually dies in the storyline, but in the uh, Mother 1 and 2 remake, they edited that out. <laughs> More people are going to die. Seriously. Like Final, <laughs> Final Fantasy 4. Yeah. Final Fantasy have to die these days. No, no, I, I just think it's, I think it's really, I don't know, I don't know what the correct word is for it, but I, I like it almost when a person, like, that you really get invested in, you know, dies, you know, especially if it's meant to, like, save the person in a, in a quest for, you know, to restore the world or fight this ultimate evil, because that's one of the things that really turned me off to anime as I got older, is that I saw, like, 90% of the anime that I would watch, it would end with the main character dead. But then he comes back to life, and that's <laughs> really, really pissed so me off after a while. Basically, Final Fantasy IV. Well, he yeah. Final Fantasy and Tell is dead. Tell is the only one who actually stays dead. Yang is dead. Nope, saved by fairies. Pelham and Parham. Nope, saved by Yang. There is something. <laughs> <laughs> saved. Yeah, said. I didn't die in the explosion and landing in the lava. I was saved by this random guy. Everybody <laughs> died and then did it. That and then, you learned that. They were fine. <laughs> I died. Well, I got better, though. If you want a Final Fantasy game where everybody dies, you have to play Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> like, everybody. It's like, like you, you start off with these three characters, and then you have, like, a rotating fourth party member, and, like, they all die. Like, <laughs> Uh-oh, I see you're in the fourth <laughs> slot. Did the, dragoon not... die? Did, did the dragon yes. guy die too? Yes. Oh, no. I think that's the only cool. one who, like, Gordon makes it and, like, Layla makes it, and that's it. Oh, I like the dragoon guy. That's absolutely. I think they need to add. Go I ahead. turned into a new. Go ahead, there. <laughs> I got better. <laughs> I got better. It's like, they had, had enough people die in that game. They could make an entirely new game with all the dead people. Be like in Game Overland. They did. This is what you do. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you you know they did that, right? Yeah, Solar River. Okay, good. So I was like, <laughs> I'm just gonna blow your mind if you didn't know that. I'm gonna. <laughs> blow your head. Okay. Whoa, that's <laughs> that. you. You can take that, that however that you want. Yeah, <laughs> kind of Some kind of went gay there. <laughs> <laughs> kind of scared. <laughs> you can take it however you got want. A lot. I got what a lot <laughs> Get right. This is for kids. It only kids. Wait, <laughs> that's anything I do for kids, like I mean, I, I am involved here, so technically. See, the thing no. is that is that that statement was completely ambiguous. Alta made it gay, not me. We're also not for kids. What gave oh, it away? Batman. Those sexy chicks oh. I put in my background, or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it a good is. way. It's a good way to draw viewers. That's for sure. Okay, well, I guess we're running out of time. We gotta wrap things up. So, any any closing thoughts? <laughs> oh, uh, Batman! I <laughs> shoot. Right, Bane voice, yes, we Bane. all get it. Bane voice. Subscribe uh, to Parastrike. He's got to race. He's got to go win. Yeah, subscribe to Parastrike. He's gonna go race a bunch of other people yeah. in uh, in Castlevania. <laughs> so cheer him on. Pray Send them some holy water. And, he uh, needs <laughs> it. <laughs> <your prayer. laughs> Uh, he might not make kids. it out alive. Uh, go go check out his channel. We'll leave it in the <laughs> description below. It's Pear Strike, spelled exactly as you would expect it to be. He's an amazing guy, absolutely crazy with his commentary. So if you like that, you like this guy. But anyhow, that's going to do it. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. This has been the Johnny Cage. Sign and also guide. <laughs> Last word, everyone. Last Pancake. word. Pancake. Last word. Pancake. Last word. Pancake. Pancake. Awful. Fuck, you can have it all.